Good morning everyone, it's Trevor back with another video. It is a balmy 44 degrees out here. I'm freezing, I'm headed into class. I have two tests today, right? The one I'm going to take right now is a tooth ID test. So basically, we have 20 questions. Uh, they put 20 teeth, um, well, one, one tooth per question, and we have to, we get to pick it up and rotate it, look at it, whatever we want, any angle, and we have to tell which one it is. And it doesn't seem that hard, but when you're dealing with maxillary molars, it's so hard to tell a first molar from a second molar because they look exactly the same. So future self, if you're really good at it, props, because right now I hate it. But I think I've prepared pretty well for this one and the other test I have today, I also have two tests on Thursday, so this week's gonna be a grind. I'm gonna take you guys along with me. Wish me luck and I'll uh, see you in a few hours. Okay, I finally made it through the day. The two tests this morning went pretty well, I think. I won't know for, um, I don't know, probably a week. They're kind of far behind on grading, but that's okay. I am confident in how I did, which is awesome, but I almost had a nightmare on my hands, just barely. Got home, I was on campus all day. We had a review, <clears throat> worked out, and I studied a little bit, so I got home pretty late. But um, I walked in, opened my fridge, and it was not cold at all and I was like no I checked my freezer and there was like puddles of water because everything had melted already the fridge had been turned off all day so I thought I don't know I thought I was gonna have to spend a bunch of money on fixing my fridge who I didn't know what was gonna go on and so frantically called the um, the emergency line for my apartment um, the a few minutes later they called me and the guy was like yeah go check your breaker box before we send someone out um, to fix it Went in there, checked the breaker box. Uh, one breaker was tripped, flipped it back on, fridge came on, everything's a-okay. Luckily, I did not lose all my food. Um, everything's still good. Thank goodness I did not want to have to deal with that. But that was my crisis averted, so it's a good night. So even though those two tests went well today and I was celebrating just for a little bit, can't celebrate too long because I have two more tests on Thursday. So the rest of the night and most of, pretty much all of tomorrow night um, is gonna be spent cramming for those. Wish me luck. It is Wednesday night already, tomorrow morning, two tests, same class. How we have two tests in the same class, who knows, but we do. And I think I'm ready for it, but we'll see tomorrow. After that, we I get a little bit of a break, gonna go play some more flag football with the Mighty Molar Bears tomorrow night, should be fun. And then it's right back to studying, or I guess waxing, because I have a waxing practical um, coming up on Tuesday. And that's going to be the rest of the week, just studying, getting ready, also getting ready for an anatomy test that is going to be a beast of a test. I am not ready for it. It is, I think there's like 10 or 11 lectures each with 60 slides that each have, you could ask 25 questions from each slide, and that is in, is in two weeks. I'm real stressed that I don't know the material better than I do. I have so many lectures to go over, and it's going to take forever to make that many flashcards, but if I can start this early, two weeks should give me enough time to prepare for a lecture, and then on top of that, I have to prepare for the, um, the lab part, so identifying a bunch of structures on the cadavers, which is also hard because we're going through a bunch of nerves um, in the abdomen. Anyways, not trying to complain, but it's going to be a busy, busy weekend and a busy, busy week next week, so um, just got to keep going, keep on the grind. Okay, now to get to the actual title of this video, I needed a break. It's Friday night and I've been waxing for hours. My neck kind of hurts. Check it out right here. Let's see. Can you guys see all of that? Yeah. Pretty fun. I can do it from home. Not. But anyways, let's have a sit down. I've been in school for what? A two, two and a half months now, and I feel like because I have been around all 110 of my classmates for hours and hours every day, a lot on the weekends even, 
I've gotten to know a ton of them really well and I've noticed some trends that I feel like the admissions committee looked for when they were choosing all of us to attend school. And I feel like it'd be helpful for you guys to be able to understand exactly what type of person OSU or maybe even other dental schools are looking for when it comes time to applying to a particular school. So I put together a list of three things that if, the, if these things apply to you, you might want to reconsider dental school as your future. And not only because you won't succeed, but more importantly, I think you will be miserable for four years and the field of dentistry as a whole is probably not going to be for you. So the first one, if you are not self-motivated, then 100% dental school is not for you. And that probably goes for any other type of graduate school as well. So med, law, farm, PA, whatever it is, it's probably not something you want to be doing. And this is why. If you don't have the motivation to spend tons of time outside of class learning all the material that the teachers give you, you aren't going to be successful and you're going to be miserable and stressed out because you're always going to feel behind. And to me, that's one of the worst feelings ever. So obviously, like I've been saying in every single video since I've started school, you, I am getting a ton of information thrown at me. And the teachers and my professors, they do a really good job of organizing it as well as they can, but it's just a ton of stuff that we need to know. And even though I feel like the teachers are really good, I still have to spend hours and hours outside of school either memorizing lecture material or going into lab and practicing drilling, practicing waxing like I'm doing tonight, or practicing doing um, making molds and casts and impressions. There's just so many things that you have to dedicate a lot of time outside of class and if you don't you will definitely you won't pass for sure and even if you're just trying to get by with C's you won't be able to do it so if you are not self-motivated dental school is not for you so the second thing that you guys need to look out for is if you are a, a true introvert dental school probably isn't for you for a couple of reasons one you have to make friends to survive. So over these last few months, I have very, very quickly, almost everyone has really quickly become super close and not only because we just kind of mesh together like our personalities, a lot of us like sports, a lot of us have a ton of other things in common, but we have done it out of necessity because school is so hard and there's so much stuff coming at us, it is so helpful to just communicate with all of your classmates. You know, someone will do a study guide for biochem and someone else is really focused on anatomy and they'll um, put their study guide online so that all of us can share information. So if you are a loner and you are not making those connections, you aren't going to have access to those kind of things and it will make dental school so much more difficult and you will not be happy because You'll see everyone else forming these relationships and getting along well and you're over in a corner feeling isolated, feeling alone, and it is not a place where you want to add social stress or social anxiety on top of all the other stress that you are feeling. And I'm not trying to say that, you know, I, I honestly consider myself an introvert, but I'm not so introverted that I don't enjoy going out and meeting new people. And there's actually a couple of kids in my class where I feel like they aren't forming good uh, friendships with people and they're kind of just trying to do it all on their own. And I can already recognize, you know, in their face every week they get a little bit more depressed and it just seems like dental school is way hard for them. So if you really don't like making friends, if you don't like being outgoing in a group situation, you might want to reconsider dental school, not only for you know the um, class and educational part I'm in right now, but even for you know practicing. Once you're in dentistry, you have to be able to form really good relationships with your patients, and you have to be outgoing, friendly. Even if you know your personal life is, I don't know, something really uh, rough is happening. If you're going through some down times, you have to kind of put on that happy face so that your patients don't really see that. So I think it's really important that you lean more towards the extrovert rather than introvert, but 
you definitely do not have to be, you know, crazy social or crazy life of the party or anything like that because I'm not. But if you are, if you hate making friends, hate being in the social scene, maybe dental school is not for you. And the last thing that I think is really important for you to have in your personality before you apply to dental school is you should be very, very detail oriented and Obviously, you know, you can kind of develop these skills, but if you go into school being detail oriented, it will benefit you so much more. And I say this because just imagine, so I have a whole entire oral anatomy class, a semester long, it's super intense, and it is all about learning the different shapes and angles of five freaking teeth in your mouth. Imagine that, a whole semester long course, ton of, you know, quizzes, tests, exams, on five freaking teeth and it's I had no idea all of these things existed before school started and it is amazing how much detail we go into we have to know just so much minutia about every single tooth and it's crazy now I understand why you know it's our whole entire career but just that one course has shown me how much detail we need to pay attention to when, uh, in order to be a good practicing dentist. And not even that class, you know, we also have drilling. You know, where you're dealing, when you're drilling out a tooth, you're dealing with honestly 0.1 of a millimeter and you have to either do that with your eyes or close to it. So being able to really focus in and care about little, little tiny details will make a huge, huge difference in whether you're going to succeed in dental school or not. Those are the three personality traits that I think you guys should watch out for. If any of those apply to you 100%, maybe rethink the your future of going into dentistry. You definitely don't have to take my word for it. These are just some things that I've noticed that all of my classmates have in common and that you should have and you need to be able to be successful and not only successful, enjoy life while you're in dental school, which is just as important as all the hard work and studying that you put in. If you're miserable, no matter what you're doing, you probably aren't gonna be very good at it. But anyways, hopefully this helps some of you guys figure out whether you want to put in all the hard work that it takes to get ready to apply. Let me know if you guys have any questions or further thoughts on any of this stuff down below in the comments. And thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a good weekend and a good week coming up. If you have an interview coming up this weekend or next weekend, good luck. Just be yourself and you'll be good to go. You'll kill your interview. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.